My name is Lucas. I am the founder of Data Marketing School. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to track button clicks with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. To explain buttons tracking, I created this demo website with three different buttons. Schedule a demo, book a call, let's talk, and I have connected my GA4 property here. The first thing I'm going to do is to disable the enhanced measurements. So I recommend you do it as well because this is data collected automatically on your website even if you don't really want it. So I recommend that you set up what you want inside Google Tag Manager and disable this. Now let's go back to Google Tag Manager and go under the triggers section and we're going to create a new trigger which is going to be under the click section, the all elements trigger. So this trigger will listen to every click that is made on your website. Let's save this one and let's open the preview to see what's happening. Let's click on schedule a demo button. The trigger that we just added on GTM triggered this click event and to be able to gather more information about this click we will need to enable some built-in variables. Under the section built-in variables click on configure, scroll down to clicks and select all built-in variables related to clicks and click on preview again. Let's click on schedule a demo. Under the variable section, you can see, for example, that the click text variable is schedule a demo. You can use the click text variable to select a specific button on your website and send a click event to GA4. So we're going to do this here. We're going back to triggers. We're going to create a new trigger, which is gonna be all elements. But here we're going to select some clicks. And here we are going to select the built-in variable click text, which equals, let's go back here and let's copy this and paste it here. Click save. Now that the trigger is created, we're going to tags and we're going to create a new GA4 event tag. We're going to paste our measurement ID and here you can name it the way you want. If you want to follow GA4 standard, you can name it click. You can also name it CTA click or button click. You can add a parameter. I recommend that you follow the standard for the parameters. The one you can use in this example is going to be click text. So you can see here that this is a known parameter and here under the value you can select the click text variable and here we're going to name it GA4 event button click and here as a trigger we're going to select our schedule a demo trigger. Let's click save and open the preview again. So here I'm going to click on schedule a demo and here you can see that our tag was triggered on this specific click. And if I click on another button, which is book a call, you can see that the trigger still triggers a click event, but here no tags fired because there is no tags attached to specific trigger for this button. So here your button click is sent to a GA4 and you can switch to the GTAG view and click on this button click event. Here you can see more information and you can see that the event parameter link text was sent and it is scheduled a demo here. In your GA4 property, you can go, for example, inside your reports under the real-time overview. And you can see here that you received an event, which is button click. You can click on this event. If you go to the next parameters page, you can see the link text parameter. And if you click on it, you can see the value, which is scheduled a demo here. So this is one way of doing it. You can also go to admin, scroll down to debug view. Here you can see your button click event, which was received. You can click on it and under the parameters tab, you can see the link text parameter. And if you open it, you can see schedule a demo. So now let's say you want to track these three buttons that you may have on a single page on your website, but you want the link text to change depending on which button you click. All button clicks will send one event, which is gonna be button underscore click, but the link text parameter will change depending on the button you click. So if I click on book a call, I want to send an event to GA4 button underscore click, which has a link text book a call. I'm going to change my trigger and I'm going to name it CTA's clicks 
on the click text, I'm going to select matches regex. What you can do basically is add a pipe, which is a vertical bar like this. And the idea of the pipe here is to say, well, the click text can be scheduled a demo or it can also be book a call with exclamation point. You can add another pipe and you can write, let's talk. Whatever the button I'm going to click on, this trigger will fire the, the associated tag on my button click event. Since the link text parameter is dynamic, because it is the click text variable, it will send corresponding text depending on the button I clicked on. So let's open the preview again and let's click on book a call, for example. I'm going to click on let's talk and another click on schedule a demo. So you can see here three clicks. The first one triggered a button click event. So here I've got a bug, which is unknown tag type from the preview. But if I switch to the G tag view, I can open my hit. And here the link text is book a call. On the second one, the link text is let's talk. On the third one, the link text is schedule a demo. And you can also see here in the debug view. So here I received three button clicks. First one, link text is book a call. Second one, the link text is let's talk. And the third one, link text is schedule a demo. We are now 24 hours later. I'm going to show you the data inside GA4 that you received from your button clicks. Here you can go to reports and first you can look under the life cycle under engagement, you can look at the events that were received. And you can see here that we have a button click event. What you can do is to go to explore and create an exploration. We're going to choose freeform exploration. We're going to add a new dimension to this exploration. And we are gonna look for link text, which we used before in GTM. So let's double click on it to add it to the report. Let's remove the column under values here, remove active users and select event count. And you can see here that the first line is blank because we are looking at all events and not only the button click event. So we are going to add a filter here on the event name exactly matches button click. And here you can see your data. It depends on what you want to do with the data. If you want to explore the data to try to understand something, you can create an exploration like I showed you. But if you want to have a static report showing you button clicks, you can go to reports and you can go to library. And here you can create a new report and create a detailed report. You can start from uh, without using a template. So this is a blank report. We are going to select our dimension which is going to be link text. Okay, click apply. We're going to select our metric, which is going to be event count, apply. You can see here that I didn't apply the filter because we still have this blank line. I'm going to do it here. I'm going to select event name, exactly matches, button click, apply. Now my report is clean. I'm going to save the report. The report name is button clicks. I'm going to save it. I'm going back to my library. You can see here that there is my button clicks report and I'm going to add this report into the lifecycle collection and under engagement. So let's click here. Let's click edit. I can search for my report and I can drag and drop my report under engagement. Let's put this after the events report. Let's click save. Save changes to current collection. Under engagement, I now have my report about my button clicks. And if I click it, you can see the reports you created just before.